What's up everyone? This is Max Red. Today we're going to go over compressors and how they're used. We will also compare several different compressors on a mix down of a track. So let's get started. Whether you're using an analog piece of hardware or a software plugin, a compressor is used to even out sound levels. There are many types of compressors and some of them have very specific uses. Let's go over some of the compressor controls. Here we have the stock compressor from Cubase. Most compressors have similar controls. We'll start with the threshold. This is the point where the compressor actually starts to work. Next we'll set the attack. This is how fast the compressor actually starts working after the incoming signal reaches the threshold. The release is actually the point where the compressor stops working. This one has an automatic setting. Next is the ratio. Obviously the higher the number, the more compression you're going to get. So this one was set at 4 to 1. And lastly we have the makeup gain. This will turn up the overall volume on the track. In order to hear what the compressors can do, we'll listen to this without any compression applied. For our first comparison, we'll use the Cubase stock compressor. We'll also use Isotope's Insight to see what's going on. The second compressor we'll try is the Waze version of the API 2500. We'll apply similar settings like the 4 to 1 ratio. Let's listen. Next, we'll try Isotope's Ozone 9 Dynamics. Our fourth compressor is the Solid Bus Comp by Native Instruments. And lastly, we have our SSL compressor. That's it for today. I hope you learned a thing or two about compressors. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment to see others like it. Thank you.